Hey guys, so we're uh, just at Horseshoe Lake here. So yeah, we're just gonna do a couple miles overnight trip. That should be pretty nice, but I already get annihilated by mosquitoes, of course, so. But yeah, we're gonna do a little hike and it's just part of the Ice Age Trail up in Chippewa County. But I'm gonna take you guys along and give you a breakdown of how I pack my pack and what's in it and what comes out of it. Just to give you guys an update, we are getting chased out of the woods right now by mosquitoes. I'm in, in my uh, full reindeer and he's got all his long stuff on. And, oh my God. We'll have to bring you the, uh, the unpacking of the backpack in a different location than out here. Ah, Cause they are vicious. Hey guys, back in the backyard because the mosquitoes chased us out of the woods. Otherwise, we would have done this in the uh, in the woods here. I'm gonna show you how I pack my pack. First, I'm gonna start with this is the thermoracity seat. Real simple egg carton shaped pad that you can just sit on. I'm going to start with that so I can get Neil down here. First thing we have in the pack here is my rain pants. What I got here is just some Columbia, uh, part of the Precip series that I got a long time ago. They still work awesome. Right here, this thing's treated me really well. I have the uh, preset marmot rain jacket. And uh, just get stuffed right in the front pocket also here. I'll go through this gear more at a different time when I'm doing reviews on the actual pieces of gear, but right now this is just how I pack my pack. And then uh, last in this front pocket is just the pack cover. Throw the pack cover on when it's raining. Um, over here in the left side pocket, I keep my dirty water bottle, smart water bottle. And my Sawyer One Squeeze filter. There's the Sawyer One Squeeze. And that's all I put in this particular pocket. And moving over to this side. I just have a little baggie of some uh, mosquito sticks that I like to burn and use when I get to camp. I'll show you what those are at a later time. Also in this side pocket, I keep my 8 ounce MSR isopro fuel for my stove. So that's all I keep on these three outside pack pockets. But next, uh, what I keep in these pockets here. Now one thing I keep in this pocket right here is my tripod. It's the uh, Joby Gorilla Pod, which is currently being used for this video so it's not in the pocket and then I just like to keep uh, some trinkets in here just a little alien guy this dice I found hiking once a little monster guy I like to keep those in there because sometimes when you come across a um, geocache something like that it's kind of cool to have something that you can put into those and kind of sign it and date it. Pretty cool, so. So those type of things I like to keep in there. And then I have my knife, which is just a, just a Gerber 
knife. All I ever use this for is just cutting the cheese. So, in this next pocket here, I like to keep my uh, cell phone as I'm hiking. Another thing I have in there is bug net. That's all I keep right in there. The only other thing on the outside of my pack here is I did buy uh, these water bottle attachments that you can hook right on the front of your strap. And so I keep A, the uh, smart water bottle right there. One thing I do is I like to buy the sports cap. I can't find them in the liter size bottles, so I usually have to buy a smaller smart water bottle and then get the sports cap here. But this is something I highly recommend because you put this on and with the Sawyer Mini or the Sawyer One Squeeze, you don't need to bring the syringe, the plunger, to, to clean it out. You just stick this right on the end and, and you clean it that way. So highly recommend the sports top. Makes it easier to drink anyways. Now one thing, I always take the, uh, in the bottom of this here little pouch, I like to take the, uh, the regular cap and throw it in the bottom of it because I've actually had the uh, sports top cap that flips down and break. Once you have that broken, you don't have a way to keep it closed, so I like to keep this as extra backup in the bottom in case I need to uh, screw it back on. So, on to the next thing, what's inside my pack? Well, first thing that goes right on top here is my z packs large food bag. Uh, the only uh, other things besides food I keep in here is my uh, homemade foil sleeve that you can rehydrate food in here. Here's my uh, utensil set to go wear. And it's just bamboo chopsticks. And we have the uh, bamboo spoon. And then it comes in this recycled plastic case. Really light. You know, just as light as the titanium spork that everyone gets. But these things are way better. I'll kind of go into a review on these eventually. And then, of course, I have the... Uh, the bear bag hanging rope. It's just some Z-line that came with the uh, bear bag. A little pouch that you can put rocks in and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's the food bag. Next, right on top in here, I like to have my synthetic enlightened equipment Apex jacket. I like to have this right on top though. I can just grab it while I'm hiking if I need to. It's synthetic. I don't have to worry about it getting wet. It will dry out. So that goes right on top. Uh, another thing that goes right on top inside is my Snow Peak cook pot, which uh, this thing's awesome. Not much to it. it, has a nice little cover. Inside I have my only towel I like to carry along, just a little rag for anything I need. I have the uh, MSR Pocket Rocket, the newer model they have. I just put it in a ziploc -y bag and throw it in there. One full size quick lighter I like to put in there. I put a little Dr. Bronner's soap in a little carrying bottle. And I just cut off, cut a little square piece of sponge and put it in a ziploc -y. Sponge works awesome to scrape out crusties and stuff in there. And then I have the, uh, my little foil 
but I like to put around here and kind of helps insulate it. Uh, next, just my normal toilet paper bag. And then I have my med kit, which I keep my toothpaste, sunscreen, ibuprofen, allergy medicine, and we have some uh, bug spray in there. And uh, lastly, I just keep my, their Patagonia Kathleen Lightweight series, uh, long underwear tights. I wear these while I'm hiking underneath my running shorts if it's too cold. And that's what I have right on top now. As you can see in here, trash compactor liner to keep everything extra dry that I'm going to be sleeping in. In here, I have my sleeping clothes system in a Z-Pack stuff sack. So inside here I just have my one pair smart wool boxer briefs that I like to have. These are just for sleeping in because I hike with my running shorts. I also have a pair of smart wool long underwear specifically for sleeping in. This would be my spring and fall setup, but uh, Smart Wool 250 blend long underwear. I have one extra pair of Smart Wool hiking socks that I like to hike in. So I have two pair usually, one to hike in, one to have on reserve. I have a Smart Wool winter cap. And I have some super lightweight 150 blend smart wool gloves for just at camp. And this 250 blend smart wool long sleeve, specifically for sleeping in camp. There's just my second pair of hiking socks. And then lastly in there, and again, this is my spring and fall sleeping wear, so it does change as it gets warmer, but I have a pair of Smart Wool medium hike socks that I specifically use for sleeping in. So, next, I just keep a journal with a mechanical pencil, quick pencil because you don't want to bring a pen along. That thing will get shaken up and explode on you. Uh, I just keep it in a Ziploc gallon bag and uh, it's just my journal I like to write in. Next in here I have my electronics bag. Uh, it's just in a small Z-Pack stuff sack. Inside this bag here I have my anchor charging bank. This is the uh, power core 15,600 series. This thing can charge my iPhone 6 up to seven times on a full charge so this thing is pretty awesome especially when I was going through the Northwoods on my trip it uh, I didn't get places to charge my phone as often so I really did need that. Now some of you might think this is overkill, but I have a um, six foot charging cord. Reason I went with the uh, six foot is actually so I can have this battery bank in my backpack, have my phone plugged in, and I can be hiking with my phone plugged in up front with the, the cord going back. So. I went with the six feet power lightning cord from Anchor. This thing's awesome too. Um, also inside this little pouch, 
I keep just a little, you know, foot and a half, two feet. Uh, this is the charging cord for the actual uh, battery bank. Um, next in my electronics bag, I have a anchor charger. Um, just dual port so I can charge my cell phone and I can charge my battery bank at the same time when I got the opportunities. Has a flip out plug just so it's A, not puncturing holes in my stuff sack and B, not breaking off inside there. So this thing was pretty sweet. I know Anchor makes some smaller ones now. Yeah, I have just the headphones which I use for podcasts and uh, listening to music a lot. I have my um, Black Diamond Storm headlamp. I've had this thing for, I don't know, probably five, six years now. Still works awesome. And uh, lastly, the old compass. I always bring the compass along. Doesn't matter where I'm going. And uh, that's what was in the electronic stuff sack. Next down here, my enlightened equipment revelation quilt. I got the 20 degree, which I didn't start with this because some nights were a little colder than 20 degrees. So this is a. Uh, I'll show you guys in a, a later video what started in my pack but didn't make it along for the entire trip, so stay tuned, you'll see that too. But here's my enlightened equipment revelation quilt. And uh, last two things down in the trash compactor bag. I have my Sea to Summit Eros Ultralight Pillow. I was always against uh, air pillows, but this thing is actually pretty awesome. And lastly, I got the Nemo Tensor Insulated Pad. This thing's pretty awesome. And yeah, a trash compactor bag. Definitely line the inside of your pack with one of these. And uh, last thing that's in my pack, kind of nice because I'm the bottom of most of these type of backpacking backpacks. You have your little bottom compartment. And this is right where my Z-Pax duplex tent goes. I, I don't even put it in the stuff sack anymore. I just put it right in the bottom of here, zip it up, and it's good to go on the bottom of my trash compactor bag so if it's wet it's not getting my stuff wet that's awesome tent of course and then i don't i don't get the whole uh cuban fiber stuff sack for your for your uh, tent stakes so i just use a ziploc bag and what i ended with anyways is I use, uh, I got these little six inch Z pack stakes for the four corners. And then I have the seven and a half inch groundhog, MSR groundhog stakes for my tie outs. That's what I went with that. And and uh, yeah, that's the, the backpack emptied out, unpacked. So now you guys know how I pack my pack and what went into it. Um, stay tuned and we have a video coming up of how Denim packs his pack when he comes along with me and you know, kind of give you an idea if you're thinking about bringing some little kids along with you. It's definitely doable and you know, they, they can carry some of their own stuff too, so. 
Uh, by the way, the bag that I ended up going with is the uh, Osprey Aether AG85 liter. Uh, it was overkill, definitely overkill. Uh, I bought it about two years ago thinking this is the pack, you know, all the bells and whistles I need, but now this is overkill. Next time I'm going to get a smaller lightweight bag with a roll top, that's all you need. De definitely comfortable. There were some straps they have in the pockets in here that I ended up just cutting off, so definitely overkill. Nice bag though, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say don't get it. It definitely carries the loads comfortably, so. Anyways, that's my uh, pack, unpacked. Thanks for watching, guys. The water's actually pretty nice. Stay right there. Oh, God. Be very careful, okay?